In this tutorial, we're going to use fill surface. Let's start by creating sketch on top plane. And I'm going to use ellipse tool. His major axis and minor axis. Line tool for construction. And I'm going to drop line right here. Right click and select. And let's apply dimensions. This dimension is going to be, let's say, 300 millimeters. And this one, let's say, 200 millimeters. Sketch fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. Isometric view. Next, here we need to figure out what to place drain pipe. I want to offset location of drain pipe from center of sink. For this, I'm going to use support plane. Insert, reference geometry, plane. Now we need to specify offset distance, flip offset. And let's say maybe 40 millimeters clip top to register and OK. Now I'm going to insert sketch on plane one and right click normal tool and let's use spline tool. I'm going to spline, draw spline somewhere here. Right click select. Now I'm going to select point and point of spline and curve and add pierce relation. Same things on this side, spline and curve, and pierce relation. And let's add construction geometry from center point to this point. Right click, select. Select the line and add vertical relation. And let's apply dimensions. Let's say 200 millimeters, click OK, sketch fully defined, and let's exit the. I'm going to create one more sketch on right plane. Right click, insert sketch, normal tool, and once again, I'm going to use spline tool. Right click, select, select the point, and control select curve. Pierce relation, point and control select curve, Pierce relation, and lastly here I'm going to select this point, control select curve, and also add Pierce. Lowest point of the sink need to be at drain location, and we have it right here. To fix it, I'm going to dimension spline handles. Double click on spline and here we have handle. Smart dimension. Select this line. Select the spline and it's going to be 90 degree. And, and let's also make back surface of sink a little bit steeper. So I'm going to use line tool for construction and from this point add vertical relation right click and select i don't need dimension link of this line since this is just construction line but i'm going to select control select my spline add and tangent relation as you see sketch still fully defined and let's exit the sketch. Isometric view. Let's hide the plane. Go to surface tab. I'm going to use here fillet surface tool. First I need to select patch boundary. It's going to be this sketch. And for constraint curve, I'm going to select one 
and second spline. Click OK. And here we have sync body. Now I need to add drain pipe and support stand. Select top plane, insert reference geometry, plane. And offset distance 240 millimeters should be just fine. And let's insert sketch on plane 2. Right click, normal. Now, right here, I see origin point, but as you remember, we did drain location position. So I'm going to right click and make sketch tool visible, circle tool, and I'm going to snap my circle right here. And let's apply dimensions. 50 millimeter should be just. F let's exit the sketch. Isometric view. Extrude surfaces. Select the sketch. Under direction one, I'm going to select up to surface options. Select my surf instead regular extrude as you see selected contour it's pre-selected here which it doesn't really matter in this case and let's create one more sketch again normal two and now I'm going to create support something like this Construction line, origin point, and this point, right click, select, and let's apply some dimensions. It's going to be, let's say, 70 millimeters, and this one, let's say, 140 millimeters. Click accept sketch fully defined let's exit the sketch isometric view let's hide the plane deselect everything extrude select contour and under up to surface i'm going to select this face and click accept Let's hide the line. And bathroom sink project is completed.